Are you looking for an athletic scholarship? You're in the right place. This is the Recruit Me Athletic Scholarship Podcast, the longest running podcast on recruiting and athletic scholarships. We're here to help your family navigate the recruiting road all the way to an athletic scholarship. He's a recruiting expert and a dad of two college athletes. He has a wealth of experience to share. Here's Recruit Me CEO, Brent Hanks. Welcome to episode 307 of the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. The Athletic Scholarship Podcast is the longest running athletic recruiting education podcast in the world. I am proud to be able to help you not only save time and save money, but also help save some stress and anxiety as you navigate the recruiting road. John Fugler, the founder of Recruit Me, started the Athletic Scholarship Podcast back in 2015 and I've been able to continue giving 15 minutes of helpful recruiting advice weekly. The Athletic Scholarship Podcast is one of the great and helpful resources that you will find at recruit-me.com. Take advantage of the free Recruit Me Power Pack or the Recruit Me 3.0 Athletic Scholarship System for only $127. Another great resource for you is the Recruit Me Podcast tab on the recruit-me.com website. You can get all the past episodes. Episodes that give you the 10 myths about athletic scholarships, or the 7 steps to an athletic scholarship, or a breakdown of how to write an introductory email or fill out a player profile. Some of the best past episodes are interviews. There are interviews of college players, past college players, college academic advisors, a mindset mentor coach, college coaches, former college coaches, and some club coaches. Probably the best advice and insights come from the interviews of parents of recruited athletes. There are interviews with parents of recruited soccer players, basketball players, softball, and baseball players. Advice from these parents will work with any sport. The freshest interview episodes are the last two weeks, episodes 305 and 306. These were episodes featuring Chris Ford, the dad of three recruited athletes. In episode 305, Chris covers how they knew nothing about recruiting as Zach was playing baseball in high school. Then they would use some of their learned knowledge on Kara for her softball recruitment. Then in episode 306, Chris discusses how Abby, the youngest daughter, eventually signed a national letter of intent and will be attending classes and playing softball for the Missouri State University Bears. Listen on your favorite podcast app or on recruit-me.com. So let's tackle today's topic. I'm going to give you the hardest and the most important step in recruiting. Past episodes of the Athletic Scholarship Podcast have talked about when to get started and how to get started. I'm not sure if I've ever discussed what can be the most important part of recruiting. The most important part is just getting started. Sounds easy, right? Just start. In my past business life, I was in the car business. My family owned and operated a small Chevrolet dealership in Ozark, Missouri. My father bought the dealership in 1985, which was my senior year of high school, after he had worked there for 15 years. I started working at the dealership when I was 15 years old, washing cars, mowing, and cleaning the service shop and taking out the trash. I started to sell cars when I was 18 years old, during the summers while I was still in college. I was able to combine my selling of cars with my college classes and my experience as a manager for the Southwest Missouri State Bears basketball team. I talked about that managing experience in episode 221. There are many, many lessons that I took from both my college experience and from my 30 years in the car business that relate to the recruiting education business and the recruiting journey that our family navigated twice with Parker and Sutton. One lesson I covered in one of my first The Athletic Scholarship episodes was episode 205. It was titled, You Can't Get It If You Don't Ask. I learned to ask many questions while selling cars. Questions to the customers like, what is your name? Where do you work? How will you use the car or the truck? What did you like about the test drive? And the most important was, do you want to buy the car? One experience I remember that helped with the getting started theme went like this. Our dealership was a member of a peer group. The group was made up of Chevrolet dealers from all over the country. We had dealers of about the same size from California, Michigan, Kansas, Texas, Colorado, Massachusetts, Connecticut, South Carolina, North Carolina, Mississippi, Idaho, and where we're from, Missouri. The group would meet three to four times a year for about three days and compare financials, 
have guest speakers, give advice to each other, and share ideas that work at their dealerships. Every time the group met, there was an idea time. All 20 dealers would put in $100, and they would share an idea that was working at their dealership. The idea might be working in the sales department, in their advertising, in the business office or accounting office, or maybe in the service department, parts department, or body shop. The idea could relate to customer relations, inventory, or human resources department like the hiring or insurance issues. The ideas could be money-making or money-saving ideas. All 20 dealers would put in their money, and then 10 dealers would do about a 5-10 to 10 minute presentation of their idea. The dealers would vote for the best idea, and the top three ideas would win some money in the pot. So all the dealers would come away with 10 new ideas that they could evaluate and see if they could implement any of them into their own situation. Our dealership won some of the money through the years with our ideas and presentations. The presentations would have copies and handouts of financials, pictures of advertising, or slides of how an idea worked at the dealership. The actual idea of idea time was to take up to 10 ideas back to work and implement the ones that would work or help in a department in the dealership. I remember one of the best ideas of idea time was a presentation where the dealer handed out one piece of paper and it said, when you get back to the dealership, implement at least one of the ideas you get from this meeting. That was it. I'm not sure if this idea actually won the idea time, but I remember thinking about how many times we gathered all these ideas over the years, and we were excited about how a particular idea was really going to help, and that we could just plug it in when we got back to work. But when we got back to work, we set the idea aside, or never took any action on that idea. The day-to-day -day business would keep coming fast, and we would just push the idea to the side. Or, we knew a manager that had been at the dealership for a long time would give us pushback. So again, we just kind of set the idea aside. So the takeaway for this particular meeting and idea time was start. Get back to the dealership and start with at least one of the 10 ideas. So let's pretend that the Athletic Scholarship Podcast or the free Recruit Me Power Pack or the Recruit Me 3.0 Athletic Scholarship System is our idea time. And no matter if you are new to the recruiting world or if you've been in the recruiting trail but have stalled, you need to grab an idea and start. Don't get paralysis by analysis. Don't get the mindset that a college will just find you. As John Fugler, the founder of Recruit Me, says, action produces traction. I invite you to go into your favorite podcast app, subscribe and like the Athletic Scholarship Podcast, and you will get a new episode every Tuesday. And you can also go back and listen to past episodes and find a piece of advice or a strategy that you can implement to move you closer to an athletic scholarship. Go to recruit-me.com and get your free recruiting power pack and the three free resources, a PDF download on the first steps to an athletic scholarship an audio clip explaining how to use video, and a downloadable player profile template that will serve as your resume to college programs. Take any of these to help you start the race, jump into the recruiting pool, push away from the dock, get out of the blocks, or get off the dime. Let me wish all the dads out there a happy belated Father's Day. I am proud to be a father of two great boys, well, young men. Sutton and Parker are each spreading their wings and going into new phases of their lives. Last week we got to attend Parker's graduation as he received his undergraduate diploma from Northwestern University in his major economics and his minors in business and legal studies. We are so proud of Parker and his accomplishments both on the baseball field and in the classroom. His graduation day was a culmination of all the years of baseball, junior high and high school classes, ACT testing, and yes, the recruitment. Our family was fortunate that Parker started and engaged his recruitment. Lori and I realized we needed to start educating ourselves and Parker on colleges, on contacting colleges, and on videoing. Starting the process led Parker to a four-year, COVID-interrupted Wildcat baseball career, three-time All-Big Ten Academics honors, and relationships with great coaches, teammates, and parents and a degree from one of the best universities in the country. Parker is now doing his internship in an investment firm for the summer. He will start on his master's studies this fall in management studies at the Kellogg School of Business at Northwestern. You never know where you'll end up once you start. From the lessons we learned from Parker's recruitment and from Recruit Me, 
Sutton will be registering, scheduling, and moving into college at Columbia College this fall. Sutton is playing in a collegiate baseball league this summer and is living at home for possibly the last summer. At some point, Sutton had to start. After working hard for years at baseball and basketball, Sutton finished his junior year of high school with one varsity at bat. Getting most of his at bats his junior year on the JV level and getting in as a pinch runner on the varsity squad. Going into that summer after his junior year, Sutton had to make a decision to start his recruitment. With just one at bat at the varsity level, but an under 7 second 60 yard dash time, he decided he was ready to start. He had a great summer batting over 400 while playing on a team with all the players that were going to college the next year. Sutton used his summer to start contacting coaches, start sending videos, and start researching colleges and showcases. By starting all his research, and to start writing his emails, by starting and finishing his player profile, and start sending emails to coaches, start asking if coaches were still recruiting for the class of 2022 outfielders, and start a dialogue with his club coaches, Sutton got three offers that fit him, and he chose the best one for him. I don't know how many times I said start in this episode, but if I didn't make my point, here it is. The hardest and most important part of the recruiting process is to start. If you are an incoming high school freshman, then start getting educated. Start improving on your sport. And know that your academics start on day one of your freshman year. If you're an incoming sophomore, start educating yourself on recruiting and colleges. Start preparing for your ACT or SAT test. Start making a list of college parameters and of colleges. If you're entering your junior year, again, start educating yourself on recruiting. Start writing your introductory emails and contacting colleges. And start going to showcases at schools that you are interested in. And if you're going to be a senior this coming year, it is not too late. Start. Start with step one. Then start another. Then another. Start now. Because of COVID and because of Sutton's late blooming, most of his recruitment happened at the end of the summer as he entered his senior year. Again, Recruit Me will help you start. Recruit Me will guide you through the seven steps as you pursue an athletic scholarship. Step one, select the right schools to contact. Step two, write a great email. Step three, create a one-sheet profile. Step four, build your questionnaire. Step five, track your communications. Step six, send one-page updates. Step seven, make your school choice wisely. Get all the details on each of these steps and much, much more in the 200-plus page downloadable manual and workbook that is just one part of the Recruit Me 3.0 Athletic Scholarship System. Go to recruit-me.com and click on the Recruit Me 3.0 tab, or click on the link in the show notes below. Start right now and get the Recruit Me combo for only $127. Plus, you get a free QR Recruiter draft tag, a $35 value. If you find out the Recruit Me 3.0 system is not for you, you have a 90-day money-back guarantee on the Recruit Me 3.0 system and you get to keep the QR Recruiter draft tag. So click and start today. Thank you for listening to the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. Join me next week for another 15 minutes that will change your athletic scholarship future.